was this way, wasn't it? There's a ladybug. Oh, Jesus, what's that sound? <coughs> Jesus! Murray and goddamn Joseph! What the hell was that? What's going on, guys, and welcome to Grounded, a game I've wanted to play for some time. And when I mean I want to play, is to bring it to you guys here on YouTube as a YouTube video and maybe a series. So if you like this video, if you like this series that we're going to do, make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, because for those that know me, I get terrified so easy and I want to start bringing some more spoopy games to use because I'm always told my reactions a little bit crazy, especially because we only really ever do it on the live stream. I don't have chat here right now to to support me. I'm sat here literally with one of my lights on and just the game. So let's start this new adventure. Let's jump straight into Grounded and uh, yeah, let's do this. You can't run from me, you foul beast. <laughs> you think you outsmarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so. Yo Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoked Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, ominous practical technology signs a new deal with Right, we're in. So, I'll give you a little brief history lesson of me. I have played maybe thirty minutes, thirty minutes of this Whoa, when it first released. Pete. Oh, looks like you really and uh, just where in the world are you? I'm actually going to be playing oh, it this oh, weekend oh. with right. my uh, scout with a good friend Step of mine, Totally Clips. So. Uh, for his birthday stream. So, I can already hear things. And I'm already kind of... Hello. Swiveling my head. The worst thing is... I've had to turn the in-game music off. And because I've turned the in-game music off... I won't be able to tell... When combat music comes on. And the reason I'm doing that... Is because if we ever have to jump cut to a different scene, I don't want there to be any sudden audio jumps or skips in music, which is going to make it unpleasant for you. So, whoa. <laughs> God damn it! This acrobat is swinging on this little stick down here. So, we've just had a little bit of a tutorial. We do have some water, some food. This looks super nice, though. If you're not watching this in 4K, you need to watch this in 4K, because, oh boy, oh my god, there's a big baseball. I kind of like the depth of field as well. That's a wasp right there. 
What is that? It's like something marching around. Right, but... I guess we can just... See what we can grab here? A sprig? You discovered a sprig. A pebblet. Not a pebble, because a pebble is a lot larger. It's a pebblet. It's like a Pokemon evolution. Let's get some more of these. Plant fibers. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? It sounds like a radio signal. Oh, 58 centimeters away. Oh, wow. My scout training doesn't have a merit badge for this. Okay, let's go. So, the last time I played this was a while ago, and it was with some people, and I've never played it by myself, which is going to make it 10 times scarier for me because. When you've got your chat, like your Twitch chat, or your, the comfort of your friends around you, it's a little different. Field station. SPAC R safety test. Category, SPAC R safety test. Location, Tully backyard. Supervising scientist, Dr. Wendell Tully. Results, power fluctuations are within an acceptable range. The machine itself continues to operate as expected. Weatherproofing of the platform components is holding up quite well. The pylons, however, are finicky trio. Maintaining the beam angles require regular obstruction removal. The yard is simply too alive for precision instruments. Or, oh, and whatever that word is. You slid, slid, slidine? You, you slid, yeah. You fickle mistress. Okay. Reminder, check and beginning cell diagnostic before end of day protocols. So this got this resource analyzer. Well... Logic dictates that there are probably Analyze. more of these common sprig. Around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Analyzing. Or some Two out one. of three. Analyze charges. <laughs> DJ. New recipe deciphered. Spiky sprig. Trail marker. Roasting spit. Sprig fence. And a plant fiber. Interesting. Brain power plus 15. So we're level zero. Is this our, like, overall level? I think this might be our, our overall level here. So we've got three items we can actually analyze. And this is going to give us some more stuff. Crude rope, fiber bandages, and plant slurry. Oh, that sounds tasty. More levels. Nice. And let's do the pebblet as well. We seem to have equipped the pebblet, so I'm guessing we can use it as a weapon. And this seems to be next charge at 900 hours. So in 30 minutes... So it kind of goes up in seconds, I think. Maybe just a little bit over. Pebblet spear and a pebblet axe. Okay. Perfect. So let's um, let's crack on with some of these. Like, let's start adventuring a little bit. Locate the sources of the signal. Yes, yeah, strange signal. We've done that. Okay. Rock bottom. We've done that as well. Okay, this. We're flying. Let's grab some of these stuff. Oh, there we go. Look for more science equipment. <gasps> Jesus Christ, it's an ant. Hey. A common example of the Fermicidae family. Bloody hell. Do you not find it a little freaky when things that are meant to be sm smaller than you, larger than you, it shouldn't be a thing, you know? Oh, find water, craft a pebbler axe with C, and look for more science equipment. Pebbler axe. Pebbler spear, spiky sprig, pebbler axe. Okay, so we just need crude rope. And hot craft many or hot craft ingredients. Oh, cool. There we go. We got to wait. Can I, can I make this? Nice. We got an axe. So I can just equip that like that. <gasps> Jesus. Bloody hell. I'm already, I'm already jumping. I don't like this game. <laughs> God damn it. I thought he was going to eat me. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, so I think the answer... I think they're, they're friendly. Um, can I change um, inventory? I? Yeah. Uh, can I change these around so I can uh, access it a little quicker and a little bit more convenient? We need to find some water as well. So I do believe, and I do remember, there used to be water... Up on these little... Right there. And these little... What would you call it? Grass, right? It is grass. And... 
water filtration tablets needed. Perfect. So, because we've got them one, but we've also got dirty ones. Mm, curious. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, here it is. It's probably the size I can hear of a wasp. A bathroom scale? Or a bee. Oh no, there's them. Are they gnats? I think they're gnats. Oh. Dry grass chunks. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Is there a 3090 in here? No? I can hear like dripping. What is that dripping sound? Oh, there's a light. Hello? Oh, oh, tiny feet. Huh. Well, looks <sighs> like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked. Oh my properly. god, the size of that bird. Like she needs all three lasers to function. Okay, so you, you want way to fix them? You want me to remove that grass there, don't you? Ta -da. Oh. Oh, so it's kind of like the forest, isn't it, when it comes to building. You pick up the stuff and then you got to place it down. Okay, so G to unload and R to hook. What's a hook? Okay, throw it. Roger. Find what's weakening one of the lasers. This one. It seems like it's going dark. I'm, I'm terrified when this goes dark. Because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to jump out me. And there's creepy crawlies everywhere. There's a there's a weasel. Wait, I'm lost. I'm lost. It doesn't help I don't have any music on as well. You guys can hear some because I've added music to the editing. But in game, it's just me... And the insects. Where am I meant to be going here? Let's be going to this, right? Oh. This thing's attacking it. Maybe I should get um a spear. Let's let's make a spear. Pebble spear. Here we go. Craft. Let's grab one of these. Slope, nasty water, clay, dig. Okay, so we need a shovel. <laughs> Die. Whoa, why don't you just stay over there? <laughs> <Red insect. laughs> Alright, chill out, chill out, chill out. Friendly. Can we pick these up? We can. Okay, let's grab this stuff. So it might be useful. Is he coming for me? Yep. Here. There's more of them. Is that it? Maybe we've got to follow the cable. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Craft a torch, please. <laughs> Let me cross. I need sap. I need. Okay. I need. I need sap. Ah, so it's showing me where it is, and because it's a tutorial thing, right? There's some on the opposite side there. Some more up here. Grab that. Okay. I think we've got what we needed, and I can, and I can hot craft one of them. I need two of them, don't I? Wait. Do I need? I need more uh, plant fiber. Is this it? This is it, isn't it? Are they attacking me? No. God damn it, Ant. Don't just come crawling out like that. Wait, what am I missing here? Crude rope. Oh, I need one more plant fibre. This is all dead. I don't think... Wait, is this some here? Dry grass chunk. Okay. So it's the green ones. Here we go. Right. I can craft one. Right, there we go. Torch. Craft. By the power of Hugo, nice, we can dual hand. Perfect. Sun. Craft a torch. Done. We need to craft a fiber bandage. 
But I feel like we need to... Follow this line down here. This is like biting away at it. Okay, there we go. Get off. Objective complete. Oh, what are these? Slime mold chunks. Pebble, we need like a hammer. Bust it open. Okay, we don't have a hammer. Can, can we craft a bandage? Can we craft this? No, we need more plant fiber. We need to, we need like a lot of things. But I suppose it's just a survival game, right? So. Where is some more plant fiber? At least there's nothing large down there. You know? What's that sound? Oh, it's another weevil. Can I attack this? Oh, maybe I should put my torch away right now. Consulting Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. He's I can. Nose for the truth. Oh my god. This I like how they attack each other. That's kind of cool. Weevil, come here. What was that? There's like a weird clicking sound over there. We're back where we started. There was some uh, fiber stuff here that I've just seen. <gasps> what the hell was that? Okay, I literally just... On like a... A little collecting spree. Look, look at all the stuff I've just grabbed. All these fibers. But well, quite a few of them. Nice. Aphid. Raw aphid meat. Oh my god. Is this Tic Tacs? Big Tic Tacs. Attack. Oh. Can I open this? Can I open it? Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Nice! Can I eat this? Wait, how do I crouch? Wait, what did I just use? I just did something. I don't know what I did. I just crafted a fiber bandage, but it was like a... Oh, there's a weapons menu. Ah, nice. Oh, we need ice cap... Ice cap mints. It's got a number two at the side of it, so I guess we need like a tier two item. Okay. Noted. Right, so we've fixed this, and now we just need to do that. That's not good. Investigate the orc tree explosion. So there's the orc tree. We can see the purple smoke coming from it, so. I feel like it's getting dark nighttime. Is there? How do I craft? Roasting spit. Here we go. Roasting spit. Oh. Oh. Too steep. Here we go. What do I need? I need dry grass chunks. Well, that's some dandelions. Here we go. Oh, easy food. Oh my god, that's a lot. It's getting quite late. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. Build a lean-to with B. Okay. So I'm guessing B is for build mode? It is. Okay. So we've got a lean to this. So this is a bed. And we need clover leaves for that. Okay, so let's kind of put one of these down here as well. 
and uh wait clover leaves there's some right here i like how when it comes up as an objective it, it highlights it so it kind of gives us a, a good sense of direction at the beginning right so can i i can make this now super build nice oh and we can make a fire as well here we go light cook and we can cook some food i'm gonna put them three on and i'm actually gonna run back to the the uh thing here and scan these because i want to see what else we can do with them i uh, hopefully they don't burn fingers crossed they don't burn so on the analyzer i want to i want to scan these because we've got three charges again Stuffed aphid and aphid slippers. Okay. We're gonna make some shoes? Why can't I make some shoes? Peblet hammer, clover poncho, clover hood, clover shin guards. Whoa, things are getting spicy. Let's do some sap. Plant lamp, workbench, and sap sconce. And then, what are these? Slime mold stalks. Slime mold, slime mold torch. Okay, so we, next time we get to 200, we're gonna unlock some new stuff because once we got to the last level, we actually got some armor. Cool. Right, so if I sleep now, I wonder if that will recharge. And I can scan three more things in the morning. Chewy, but nice. They're not burnt. And I've got that as well. Beautiful. So I can go into here. Wake up at... Oh, God. Half past one in the morning. You will wake up in the dark. Sleep for eight hours. Set respawn point or close. Let's set the respawn point. And maybe we stay awake a little bit longer. Maybe I do some more collecting. Is there anything we can actually do right now? Plant slurry. A thick paste of blended plant bits. Is this... Is this... You need a grinder for it. Okay. So we need a grinder for that. What else have we got? Pebblet hammer. Hey, we had a hammer for... We needed a hammer for that cave, right? So let's craft one of them. Craft a hammer. There's the slime mold torch uh, from the cluster of mold. It should be able to light your way for a short time. So these are not as uh, as good as the actual torches themselves. And a spiky sprig, a weaponized sprig with thorns at the end. Hot craftable enabled. It does damage. It, just, ooh, it stuns as well. And speed. What does the spear do? Okay, so it doesn't stun. And the spiky sprig does more damage. But we need thistle needles, which we've not found any of. In here, we've got the clover hood, which we could start looking into, in fact. And all we need is clovers for this. So, they're all here. Let's grab some clovers and let's make some armor. Oh my god. There's a ladybird slash ladybug. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? I think it's friendly. Oh, mushrooms. Why can I not craft one? Oh, we need a workbench. It needs a workbench. Right, so... Where's a workbench? Workbench, here we go. Sap. Okay, we can do this. Can we construct this? Can I just put this outside? Like, here. Right? And I just need some sap. Nice. And then we can just... Hook that. <laughs> There we go. Now I can make me slippers. I've never thought I'd say that in a after a little combat little fight. Let me just go and make me slippers. You know? Here we go. And then we can craft some of them. Perfect. You're squishy and retain water well. Gear set bonus. Okay, but if I put the slippers on, I lose the gear set bonus. And I actually get the quickness. I get to run faster. <laughs> so I think I might just keep them on me. And possibly switch to them if I'm being chased by something. 
Let's sleep for eight hours. We're going to wake up at 5 a.m. Oh, this is cool. Oh, God, that music isn't, though. Boom. Right, so the fire ran out. I need to heat, uh, eat and drink now, so uh, let me get my you out. Wait, this one. Well, there's quite a few around here. There we go. Don't even need to boil it. I don't want to hit the ants just in case they have friends. And as you know, you have worker ants, soldier ants, queen ants, um, red ants. To, there's loads of different kind of ants. So I'm guessing there might be some in this garden somewhere. But I think we're in the safe biome right now. So let's eat up and then let's adventure towards the tree. The old ant hill. Can you actually go inside? Oh my god. You can. Oh my god. I can just picture a spider leaping around. It's all its legs spread around the edge of that. Oh boy. Just staring at you. Wanted to gobble me up. Wait, did I make a hammer? I did make a hammer, right? Just kind of put that there. Well, there's a web up there. Spiders are the one things I'm worried about. There's not... That's a lot of sap down there. Oh, acorns. Can we do anything with these? Oh, oh. Oh, there's a thing, a little thing. Can we do anything with these first before we go in there? Oh, hammer. Perfect. Grab some acorns. Wait, I only got one from that? Is that someone's one? Oh, they kind of exploded, that's why. Mm. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, that's a fat nope. That is a fat nope. That is a fat nope. Even he's like, I'm out of here. There was two of them in there. There was one straight on and then one to the to the right of the doorway. I don't even want to know what the detection range is. Grab some supplies here. I don't know how the in-game mechanics work for this as well. Do like spiders like that start roaming the more days you advance in game? I don't have a clue. And I don't want to find out. What is this? Explosion, explore the lab. Whoa. We've just stepped into Subnautica. Hello? Can't do anything with that. Hello? Resource surveyor. Unpowered. That's unpowered. Oh, wait. Analyzer. Acorns. Sap catcher. Smoothie station. Spinning wheel. Acorn fence and garden patch. Ooh, spicy. Let's scan these ones as well. We got a lot then. Acorn chest plate, acorn face mask, acorn leg plates, storage chest, shovel, water container, signed frame and grind. Wow, there's so many building things. This is a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Let's do the... Wait, what's that? Acorn bits. Let's do them as well. May as well scan the whole acorn, right? Boosh juice. Mmm, tasty. 
And I guess before we um we get out of here, we can do a few more scans because I don't know how long I'm going to be down here for. Quarks, bosons, raw science, space reduction, but not just space. Can it be cooked? Containing cool. Oh. I don't mind if I do. Hedge warning hostile presence detected. Hedge, where's the hedge? Is this another science station? Pond? Warning. Battery backup failure. Is this showing me locations of other stations like this? Haze? Looks like fog or whatever. Lab 3. It is. So we've got the hedge, the pond, the haze, black ant hill. Oh my god, it's like a, a fallout shelter. Hello? Let me try to help. Burgle. Gotta revive him. Oh. Hi, friend. It's this guy from the trailer. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Chat with Burgle. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. But hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Okay. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. Is a day day disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Are corrupted. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, where am I? How come I can't remember anything? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Totelli to experiment on all things small. Okay, Wendell Tully, that's the second time I've read that name. Operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Oh, it's a he. Who is Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. Okay. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Right. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c corrupted memory banks. Corrupted memory banks. How come I can't remember it anything? you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Goddamn biomass. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. How do I to get home? To your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. And I guess that's the one we've just broken, right? Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Mm -hmm. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix the space or? That is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing. 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 
Processing. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Oh my god. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair these facer. Memory chips? I used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Is it a floppy disk? <laughs> Super chips are special. And they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Ah, so that's why there's different labs in different areas, because they're researching the bugs and everything around there. Processing. 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 Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. <laughs> the lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. What's the Hedge Lab? The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. Oh, God. Oh, God. You will find the Hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the Hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Okay. Try to find the Hedge Lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> okay, thanks for the words of wisdom there, Bergo. That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers, too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should... I don't think so, because you're going on here for a little bit, Bergle. Try not have an exponentially great day. Okay. So, we've just been given a new objective, which we need to head to the hedge to find out the, uh, to find the lab that is researching arachnid webbing. Use the ASL... AS... A <laughs> ASL terminal biometric scanner. So we'll be able to Oh god, why so aggressive? Oh. Oh my god. God damn it. Look at me in my little leaved outfit. Retrieve a super chip from Burgle. Always happy to see a repeat customer. How can I help you today? Uh Wait. Ask away, my friend. Oh, we have to find one for him. Purchase an upgrade in the science shop using the ASL terminal. Science, we've got 616. Let's load. Smithing station. Smithing station. Workstation used to upgrade weapons using various materials. Requirements. Oh, okay. Well, that's some stuff we don't know. That's like ore. Okay, let's just buy it. I guess it's it's forcing us to because it's super cheap compared to this. But we've also got some quests as well. So we've got Explore Great Oak Beacon. Complete Trail Marker at Great Oak Beacon. Explorer Tower Trowel Gulch. Complete Trail Marker at the Tower Gulch. An artifact Explorer. Okay, let's just kind of Performing accept all of these. Okay. We're done here, right? Is that all we need? I do need to drink, though. Can I leave here now? Now where did I leave that? Complete trail marker at Great Oak Beacon. 
I should be able to research some more things now since I was in there for a while. Yeah, it's charged three times. So let's analyze the food. We kind of have to do this whenever we see it. It's, it's time-based, right? Stuff weevil, weevil shield. Oh. Research them. I should just press space bar instead of me clicking on it. Eye patch. What's that going to do? And we just leveled up as well. We are now level three. And we just got red ant arm guards, red ant knee guards, red ant uh, helmet, and a sprig bar. Already known, arrow spiky sprig. Perfect. So that does mean we do have to fight some ants, unfortunately. God damn it. Oh, God, I missed that. Mushroom something. I think it was like a mushroom meal since it is an edible. Uh, cool. So we've done that. We do need to hydrate. Where's that drinking thing? There he is. Oh, it's a big pond. Yeah. Is there a map? There is. Okay, so we're down here. Right. So this yellow is where we've been, I'm guessing. I think. We're right here. There's the orc lab. We've not found any of the others. Super tech chip. So that's one right there. Oh my god, there's so much places to go. Okay, is there any juice here? Yes, there is. Perfect. Slept all of that up. Wait, that actually gave me some food as well. Cool. Oh, it's going night time. Maybe we should start heading back to camp. And uh, hopefully we can try and survive another night. It was this way, wasn't it? There's a ladybug. Oh, Jesus, what's that sound? <laughs> Jesus! Murray and goddamn Joseph! What the hell was that? Oh my god, I've just gone a little dizzy. I've just gone dizzy. I've just gone bloody dizzy. What the hell was that? It poisoned me. Oh my god. Oh my god, get me back. I just literally sp sprinted all the way here. Went through so much stamina. Oh, and that. Wait, can I throw my spear at it? Oh god, he's in here. Aren't you unlucky? Right. So we're back home. I'm not going to lie. That was a little spoopy. Okay, so I think that's the perfect time to call this episode right here, guys. So check out my other content right here if you want to see some other videos that I've done you might like. So guys, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. I, uh, I appreciate this. And let me know if you want to see more of this. So without further ado, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.